Good morning, good morning, uh, buenos dias, grüezi wohl, bon dia e bonjour. Welcome to this uh, interview in uh, six languages uh, with our friends Julia and Durens uh, that have uh, five uh, native languages, five mother tongues also as a synonym, let's say. Um, so this uh, interview uh, will be done in six languages, uh, but they will also uh, do um, an interpretation into English. So you will be able anyway to follow if you if uh, happens that you don't know uh, all these languages, uh, these six these six uh, languages. So the languages are apart from English. Uh, the five uh, mother tongues are uh, German, Catalan, uh, Swiss German, uh, Spanish, and French. So, um, by the way, we are all, all the three of us are in Neuchâtel, in the same city. That's why we we yeah. met, and uh, and then there was already some time that I thought and I proposed to them to do uh, an interview for my YouTube channel, and then. This was the perfect uh, opportunity to do that. Today is the International Day of Children. And so uh, we, we are the whole day uh, in the event, we will talk about um, topics related to um, uh, language learning uh, for children. And so let's start. Uh, so first uh, question in English for uh, Lorenz and then for Julia also. Uh, first question is uh, your story. Uh, how comes you have five mother tongues? So, uh, <laughs> yes, so it is because um, first we live we lived in Catalonia and our our parents, they always talk to us in Swiss German and in Catalan. So my mother in Swiss German and my father in Catalan. And then we started learning since we were very little Swiss German and Catalan. And then we had an Argentinian babysitter when we lived in Catalonia. And she, she talked to us in Spanish and then we started learning Spanish. So it wasn't a Spanish from Spain, it was a Spanish from Argentina that we started learning. Um, then after when I was six and my sister about four, we moved to, we moved to, uh, to Neuchâtel, to Switzerland. And here we start learning French at school because we needed to, to go to school and we needed to know how to communicate. Yes, and for the high German, so we began to learn high German at school in third grade of elementary school. And okay, that so is why... Say, probably uh, high German, you, you mean uh, standard German? German. Yeah. Yes. So yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I think in English. Exactly. You could say, uh, yeah, German for Germany okay. or Sandra yes. Germany, yeah. And uh, we we also went to Mexico when we when I was about ten years old and my brother was about twelve years old, and there we we perfectionated our Spanish, but so our Spanish is quite so a South American Spanish. And yes, and we had okay. also uh, in Switzerland when we when we lived in Switzerland, we had a Bolivian um, babysitter also, and she she talked also in Spanish, so we learned Spanish. Okay, yeah. so you, yeah, you have uh, a Spanish that is more uh, South American, actually. Yeah, yes. exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, very interesting. Thank you. Okay, so uh, zweite, uh, zweite Frage jetzt uh, auf Deutsch uh, für Julia. Uh, welchen Sprachen sprecht ihr zwischen euch? Also zwischen uns And, sprechen uh, wir. Uh, Jorent uh, übersetzen. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Ah uh, ja. Yeah. So um, <laughs> a bit, a between a between you, in which uh, languages do you do you communicate? Do you speak? Also, wir sprechen Französisch zusammen, aber als wir klein waren und in äh, Katalonien lebten, äh, sprachen so, wir Schweizerdeutsch. So, um, we talked to each other in French, but when we were little and lived in Catalonia, 
we talked, we communicated with each other in Swiss German. Then, uh, as we in the Schweiz gezogen sind, uh, but then when we moved to uh, when we moved to Switzerland, uh, fingen wir an uh, Katalanisch zu sprechen miteinander. We started to talk to each other in Catalan. Aber nach ein paar Jahren äh, sagten die Freunde meines Bruders. And then after a few years the my brother's friends started to say dass sie <lacht> nichts verstehen könnten. That they understand anything. Und dann äh, wechselten wir äh, auf Französisch. And then we had to to French. Und ja, und äh, seit ungefähr 13 Jahren sprechen wir Französisch zusammen. And since more or less 13 years now, we talk to each other in French. Okay, sehr interessant. Und jetzt also am meisten äh, Französisch äh, oder in einigen Situationen auch äh, andere Sprachen spricht ihr zwischen euch? Also, wir sprechen jetzt nur noch auf Französisch, aber ähm, so manch, manchmal so, manchmal in, äh, auf, Deutsch, äh, auf Deutsch, auf Englisch, so englische Sätze. Uh, so we speak in uh, French, but sometimes we also speak in uh, English. Aber eigentlich manchmal spreche ich auch mit meinem Bruder auf uh, Spanisch. But sometimes I also speak with my brother in Spanish. Weil uh, seine Freundin from, uh, from Mexico ist. Because uh, his girlfriend is from Mexico. Und äh, ja, so können wir uns alle verstehen. Uh, so, and so we can understand all each other, everybody. Okay, sehr interessant. Und, ähm, und warum manchmal auf Englisch? Why sometimes in English? Uh, das ist, weil wir... Um, weil wir oft Englisch lernen und das, uh, yeah, das ist, weil wir oft Englisch lernen. This is because uh, we often uh, learn English. Uh, and then we, uh, und dann uh, nutzen wir ein, so kurze Sätze auf, auf Englisch. So we say uh, a few sentences in English. Okay, Manchmal. ich verstehe. Ja. <lacht> okay, ähm, und äh, zum Beispiel äh, manchmal äh, seid ihr in Katalonien, also ich denke, dort äh, sprecht ihr äh, Katalanisch, oder? Äh, nein. So, also, we, uh, the, in Catalonia, you, there you speak in Catalan. Mhm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in Catalonia sprechen, also mit die anderen Leuten, mit den anderen Leuten. With other people. Mm -hmm. uh, sprechen wir schon Katalanisch. In Catalonia, mm -hmm. we speak Catalan. Uh, aber manchmal uh, Spanisch, weil nicht alle Katalanisch sprechen. But sometimes also in Spanish, because not everyone understands Catalan. Mhm. Aber zwischen, neu, äh, zwischen uns nur Französisch fast. But between us, okay. uh, between us only French. Okay. Ich verstehe. Okay, danke schön. <lacht> ja. Also, äh, gehen wir zur äh, dritten okay. Fra äh, Frage. Ähm, an la, la tercera äh, Pregunta, que es en Catalan. Eh, para Llorenç al principi. Eh, la interacció entre català i castellà i també entre alemà, suïsso i alemà. Eh, quals són les interferències lingüístiques eh, positives i negatives en, en, quan, quan parleu la, la llengua? 
the uh, just the question was uh, the interaction between uh, Catalan and uh, Spanish and between uh, German and Swiss German and the positive and negative uh, interferences <laughs> between them. Mm -hmm. Uh, doncs, entre el català i l'espanyol, entre el castellà... So, castellà. so between uh, Spanish and Catalan? Jo diria que en el català que parlem nosaltres, que és de Barcelona... I would say that uh, in the Catalan that we speak, so it's the Catalan from Barcelona... Hi ha molts hispanismes, o sigui, moltes paraules que provenen de l'espanyol. There are many hispanisms, uh, that means uh, many uh, words that come from uh, Spanish. I, I llavors, pues, això és una de les més grans interaccions lingüístiques que jo veig entre els dos idiomes. So that's one of the biggest in, uh, interactions that I see between the two languages. Uh, algo que és molt bo, jo crec. Something that I believe it's very good. Es que si es parla bastant bé uh, un idioma o l'altre. Is that if you speak very well uh, one language or the other one. Es que aprendre l'altre és realment molt fàcil. Uh, to learn the other language is very easy. Per exemple, la, la meva nòvia, que és de Mèxic. For example, my girlfriend. Uh, who uh, comes from Mexico. Pues va anar a l'escola a Barcelona, justament. She went to school in uh, Barcelona. I, I no li va costar gens aprendre el català. I tenia les classes en català i va ser bastant ràpid. Uh, and she had uh, classes in uh, Catalan and it wasn't complicated for her and she learned very easily and quick. Sí, i si no entra el suís alemà i a l'alemà. Otherwise between uh, German and Swiss German. La pues, una de les inter, una interferència que hi ha entre el suís alemà mateix. One of the infer, interferences that uh, appears in the Swiss German language itself. És que hi ha molts dialectes i que totes suïsses parlen dialectes diferents. Is that there are many dialects and that in Switzerland there are many different dialects. I llavors a vegades és difícil, és difícil entendre realment, per exemple, expressions o el que diuen altres parts. So many times it's really complicated to understand what they say in other par parts of the country or some expressions that they use. Sí, la, la comunicació sí que es fa bé, però sí que a vegades hi ha paraules que costen una mica més. So we can communicate, but sometimes some words are very complicated to understand. I una la, de les la, la, la vostra variant suïssa-alemà és uh, de Zurich, no? De Zurich, sí, sí. exactament. Sí, sí. Yeah, sí. sí, the so the the our Swiss German is from Zurich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And i si no pues una cosa que veig bastant bé, bastant guai diria jo. Something that I see that it's pretty cool. És que és que si nosaltres, per exemple, anem a Alemanya, és molt fàcil, és molt més fàcil entendre. Is that if we go to Germany, it's very easy to understand what they say. Perquè justament a Suïssa la, la llengua oficial oficial és l'alemà. Because in Switzerland, mm -hmm. the official language is German. I en canvi, si venen d'Alemanya, aquí el suís alemany no ho entén. O no but gaire. It, but people from Germany, when they come, they don't understand Swiss German or not quite well. Sí, jo és més o menys el que veig. Molt bé. Gràcies, gràcies. Eh, ok, eh, also jetzt eh, die vierte frage. Eh, dieses, dieses Mal auf Schweizerdeutsch. Also ich spreche kein Schweizerdeutsch noch 
äh, ich studiere, ich lerne ein bisschen, aber ich verstehe ein bisschen, aber ich kann nicht wirklich äh, sprechen. Äh, ich kann nur sagen, äh, grüß Sie wohl und etwas so. <lacht> <lacht> ähm, so. Also, ja. So, um, so the fourth question, we, which will be in Schweizerdeutsch, which is the Swiss German, um, that that Cesco doesn't really speak. He, un he he understands a bit, but and he's learning how to. He's learning Swiss German, but he he speaks rather German than Swiss German. Also, Frage ist äh, für Julia. Äh, in welchen Sprachen denkt ihr, lebt ihr, träumt ihr hauptsächlich? So, the question is for Julia. And it is, in which language do you think, do you live or do you dream eventually? Also, ich denke hauptsächlich. Ich denke, also, ich denke hauptsächlich auf Französisch. I think eventually in French. Aber manchmal, mainly. wenn ich... Uh, mainly, ja. Yeah, yeah, <lacht> yeah, yeah, yeah. Aber manchmal, wenn ich mit jemandem rede... But sometimes when I speak to someone... Ähm, in andere Sprache, dann denke ich in dieselbe Sprache, die ich mit die Person am Reden bin. I think in the same language that I was currently speaking. Uh, so, also, im Alltag uh, rede ich mehr Französisch. In, so, in the day to day, I, I live more in French. Uh, will ich ja mit meinen Freunden oder in der Uni in Französisch rede und Unterricht sind auf Französisch und so weiter. Because with my friends, I speak in French. In the university, the courses are in French, and and yeah. Aber seit dem Lockdown uh, rede ich viel mehr uh, Schweizerdeutsch und Katalanisch. But since the lockdown now, I speak more Swiss German and Catalan. Will ich uh, viel mehr mit meinen Eltern bin? Because I spend much more time with my parents. Das ist cool. äh, und sonst äh, für den Träumen, äh, ich glaube, dass ich meistens auf Französisch träume. Und um, für Dreaming, ich denke, dass ich mainly dream in French. Aber ich weiß es nicht genau, weil ich habe schon Freunde von mir gesagt haben. Aber ich weiß es nicht genau, weil ich habe Freunde, die mir me. Dass ich, dass ich manchmal so Sachen sch schreie, wenn ich äh, schlafe, auf Katalanisch und so. Uh, that I scream out or that I say things in Catalan when I'm sleeping. <lacht> Vielleicht träume ich auch in Katalanisch, weiß nicht genau. Maybe I also dream in Catalan, I don't know. <lacht> okay, okay. Vielleicht Albträume oder? <lacht> uh, maybe Nightmares. <lacht> Nightmares. <lacht> Vielleicht. <lacht> okay, okay. Sehr interessant. Schön. Okay. Um, vamos uh, al español? Sí, por supuesto. Entonces, eh, quinta pregunta eh, para Llorenz. Eh, lenguas e identidades. Comparación entre catalano y alemán suizo. O sea, eh, explico un poco más. Eh, eh, bueno, Julia, no sé si quieres ya traducir la primera parte. <laughs> so, uh, the fifth question is uh, for Lorenzo. Uh, It is uh, languages and identities, uh, the comparison between uh, Catalan and Swiss German. Mm -hmm. And by y that I quiero mean... Explicar, mm -hmm, quiero explicar un poco más. O sea, la, la pregunta es, eh, ¿hay una cierta tensión identitaria 
entre, por un lado, entre catalano y, y castellano, y por el otro lado, eh, entre suizo alemán y alemán. Uh, ahora, normalmente, uh, sí, Julia. <laughs> so the question is basically because there, the, there are some uh, tensions between Catalan and Spanish, you say, and uh, mm -hmm. Swiss German and, Sw and German. Mm -hmm. and y, y, en, y entonces, normalmente, uh, yo conozco a personas que son solo españoles o, o sea, catalanes, ¿no? Que tienen esa tensión solo entre catalán y español, por ejemplo. O otros que son suizo alemanes y tiene esa tensión, tensión solamente entre suizo alemán y alemán. Y vosotros tenéis lo, estas dos eh, partes. Entonces, me parece interesante analizar cómo eh, sentís la cosa y cómo vivís la cosa. So, uh, I know some people who are from Spain, Catalonia, who have that tension, feel that tension between uh, Spain and Catalonia, or people uh, who also feel that tension in German and Swiss German, but you, for you it's interesting to see because you have, the bo you have both uh, tensions, so uh, I would like to see uh, what you think. Bueno, pues, eh, pues yo no, no me voy a meter mucho en el, en el tema político entre so, Cataluña y España. So, I won't go into politics between uh, Cataluña and Spain. Pero, pero me siento mucho más, me siento mucho más de, de, de Cataluña que de España. But I feel more from Catalonia than from Spain. En España nunca, nunca he estado realmente, así que pues no puedo, no, no puedo decir mucho. So, solo he estado en Cataluña. I never really went to Spain, so I can't really tell because uh, I only went to Catalonia. Y si no, pues en es, Esa alemán, ya es una, una respuesta un poco política, digamos. Bueno, <risa> pues sí, pero pues, no puedo decir mucho, la verdad. <risa> Y si, y si no, pues entre el suizo alemán y el alemán, pues en, he estado más en, he estado, es, pues nunca he estado más que de vacaciones en, en Alemania. And between en Alemania. Uh, Switzerland and Germany, I've never really went to Germany except from vacations, so I can't really tell. Well, no, así que me siento más, me siento más de... De, de, de Suiza que de Alemania, ah, bastante ah, más. So I feel uh, much more from Switzerland than from Germany. Y, pero no me siento realmente de, de, no me siento realmente ni de España, ni de, bueno, ni de Cataluña, ni de, ni de Suiza, o sea, me siento but, igual de la... But I don't really feel from, from Catalonia or from Switzerland, I feel more like... I'm from both. Sí, porque pues de, la mayor parte de mi vida he vivido en Suiza, así que así que sí me siento bastante suizo y pues Cataluña tengo una parte de mi familia que vive allá. Because uh, I I lived mostly in Switzerland, uh, but I have family in Catalonia. Así que también íbamos mucho a íbamos mucho a a Cataluña. Y pues también me siento bastante identificado con Cataluña. So we often went to Catalonia and that's why I also feel a, an identity in Catalonia. ¿Tienes mm. doble nacionalidad? Sí, sí, sí. Tengo los pasaportes de los dos países. So do you have double nationality? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And two. <laughs> Muy bien. Entonces, <laughs> eh, très bien, merci. Alors, on va à la dernière question euh, en français pour uh, Julia. So, uh, we go to the next question for Julia. Uh, donc, quels avantages ou désavantages vous a apporté 
Le fait euh, d'avoir cinq langues maternelles. Which et advantages est la... and disadvantages uh, did, uh, did apport to you the fact of speaking five languages? Mm -hmm. et, so five native languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, native et, languages. Et, quel, et surtout uh, à niveau de richesse et ouverture d'un côté, mais aussi peut-être uh, d'instabilité identitaire. Uh, donc je reviens sur la question de l'identité euh, le rapport entre langue et identité. So, which, uh, what identitary instability does it, does it bring to you and what's the, the opening, I would say, and um, the richness? richness? Mm -hmm. Ma, alors, pour moi, un des plus grands avantages c'est euh, de pouvoir voyager librement dans la plupart des pays du monde. So for me, one of the advantages is uh, to be able to travel over the world, practically. Et ainsi pouvoir euh, comprendre en fait euh, la plupart des gens, ce qu'on me dit. And be able to understand what, uh, what people say to me. Et euh, je trouve que ça apporte vraiment une ouverture sur le monde. And I think that it really uh, brings an opening to the world. Parce que euh, c'est beaucoup plus facile de comprendre les cultures, euh, de pouvoir euh, s'intéresser aux personnes. Because it's much more, it's much easier to um, understand cultures and Um, and person and peoples and people. Mais même si on prend si on prend pas le monde dans son intégralité, mais juste la Suisse. Even if we don't take the whole world, uh, the whole world and only Switzerland. Euh, en Suisse, on peut voyager dans dans la plupart des des cantons des régions. Et in on Switzerland. Comprend... In Switzerland, we can move in the majority of the of the cantons that would be the states in Switzerland, and understand. And I think it's beau to be able to communicate with people without forcément partager, how do an identity cultural mais pouvoir euh, s'ouvrir aux personnes. But and I think that it's it's nice to to be able to open us to the to the other people and uh, even though we don't really share the same uh, identitary uh, culture. Et si Allô Oui, je, je crois oui, que ça a coupé. Je suis là. Ah. Oui, ça a coupé. Je... Bah, alors, on continue, on continue avec toi oui. pour l'instant. Oui, bien sûr, bien sûr. <rire> euh, alors, Et... pour moi, euh... bah, pour moi je, je suis d'accord avec ma soeur. Donc, c'est vraiment bien de pouvoir voyager et puis de comprendre ce que tout le monde dit. I agree with my sister, so I, I think that it's excellent to, to be able to travel and understand everyone. Oh, well, et, mostly, I don't know, many, many pairs, many different languages, yeah. Et, euh, et je, je pense que ça apporte justement une richesse pour, euh, pour pouvoir comprendre les autres, les autres cultures plus facilement, plus aisément. Mm -hmm. So it brings act, uh, actually a richness to better understand our cultures. Uh, Julia, voilà, c'est reconnecté. Oui, pardon. <rire> Donc, tu disais, Julia oui, euh, je disais, pour moi, le plus grand des avantages, c'est de parfois euh, faire des mélanges entre les langues, parce que c'est des langues très proches entre elles. So a disadvantage for me would be that sometimes I mix the languages together because the, they are similar languages. Et euh, mm -hmm. par contre, j'ai... Personnellement, je ressens pas vraiment d'instabilité identitaire. And personally, I don't really feel 
identitary uh, instability. Je me sens, en tout cas, je me sens très, très bien intégrée euh, partout où j'ai vécu et je me sens toujours euh, bien entendue avec tout le monde. Donc, euh, I, really felt, I really felt um, well integrated everywhere. And, uh, and yeah, I don't, and, and I don't feel bad where I, I, where I was. D'accord. Merci. Euh, et je me posais aussi euh, une autre question, c'est est-ce euh, que le fait d'avoir euh, 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 cinq langues maternelles, plus maintenant aussi l'anglais que vous avez étudié à l'école, euh, donc le fait d'être nativement polyglotte, est-ce que ça euh, vous donne un intérêt spécial et particulier à étudier d'autres langues, à, aller, à vouloir en apprendre encore plus ou pas spécialement Parce que je connais aussi des gens qui… La réponse est non, donc. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, does the fact of, have, uh, of having five native um, languages um, and now English that you learned at school, um, does, it, does it make you… Does it, make you want to learn more languages? Oui, alors, <laughs> moi, j'aime ai, beaucoup les langues et j'aimerais beaucoup en apprendre plus. So, yes, I, I like very much languages, so I would like to learn more. Mais euh, j'aimerais changer un peu euh, des langues germaniques et euh, latines pour euh, aller plus vers, par exemple, le japonais. J'aimerais beaucoup apprendre. So uh, I would like uh, move a bit from the Latin languages and learn, for example, Japanese. Mais dès que j'aurai plus de temps. But when I when I will have more time. Ok, merci. Alors on a euh, beaucoup de questions, donc je commence oui. <laughs> euh, en catalan pour Julia. Euh, vous agradaria passer tantes langues à vos fils? Si les vostres partenaires futurs ou acceptaran. Oui, si. Uh, si. Uh, would you like to to transmit all these languages to your your sons? Um, si si uh, if your partners if your future partners will accept it. Pues a mí me encantaría a mis lenguas mío para mí. So. I would love because more languages the better. Porque no sol aporta una gran obertura sobre todo lo que es da del trabajo y todo eso para un futuro trabajo. Because it doesn't only aport more opening for the for jobs in the future. Pero también una gran obertura sobre el mundo y una gran obertura sobre las perspectivas que tenemos. A big opening uh, to the world and to the perspectives that we have. That we have. Pero la pregunta es quina lengua aprendré, como que no le puedo hablar en cinco lenguas. La pregunta es quina. But the question is which language will I will I teach him because I can't teach him five languages. Sí. Muy bien, gracias. <laughs> um, una otra question por Lorenz. Quelle langue parlez-vous avec vos parents? Um, so the question is, uh, which language do you speak with your parents? So, uh, pardon. <laughs> Alors, euh, moi, je, bah, les deux, on parle en fait euh, catalan avec avec notre père et allemand, suisse allemand avec notre mère. So we both speak uh, Catalan with our father and Swiss German with our mother. Et, et, okay. et mes parents, par contre, eux, ils parlent en espagnol. Non, non, And non. my ouais, parents, they speak uh, Spanish between them. Uh, yeah, between them. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more question. Uh, are you studying any languages now? If so, so any other languages now? Uh, if, if so, which ones? Uh, Ju Julia. Um, uh, uh, so Uh, yeah, in Mais this non. case, it's ah, already it's in English. English. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I am mixing my brain is totally, totally out. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I began to study Japanese, I said, but <laughs> honestly, uh, I don't have uh, much time because uh, of my studies. So I'll tr I try my best, but it's hard. <laughs> okay. And, and Jurens? Uh, I any, started any new languages. Yeah, I started uh, recently to learn Latin with oh, with an optimal, app. So, optimal. Yeah, but I <laughs> I don't I still don't uh, know much, but I started. It interested me. So yeah. <laughs> optimal. Si wis uh, possumus uh, Latin eloqui. Ita, ita. If you want, we can speak uh, <laughs> Latin. <laughs> 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 <But yeah. laughs> okay, then uh, uh, next question. Um, uh, auf Deutsch, uh, Lorenz, uh, was bevorzugt ihr Hochdeutsch oder Schweizerdeutsch und wieso? So, uh, which, what, what do you prefer? Um, uh, Standard German or Swiss German, uh, and why? Uh, also, zum Sprechen um, würde ich sagen mehr Schweizerdeutsch, weil Hochdeutsch ist nicht wirklich uh, so. Ich lernte Schweizerdeutsch und nicht Deutsch. So, to speak, I would say uh, Swiss German because uh, I that I, I studied or learned Swiss German and not uh, German. Und uh, ich kann mich viel besser erklären auf uh, Schweizerdeutsch als auf Hochdeutsch. Und mein Akzent ist, <laughs> ist eine Katastrophe auf Hochdeutsch. <laughs> and I can express myself better in, a, in Swiss German and in German, my accent isn't really that good. <laughs> so yeah, I, I would prefer, uh, ich würde lieber haben Schweizerdeutsch als Hochdeutsch. Uh, so uh, I prefer uh, Swiss German rather than uh, German. Okay, danke. Uh, und uh, und uh, Julia, deine Antwort? Also, Julia, your answer. Äh, ich würde das gleich sagen als mein Bruder. Also, mein, also ich war in Stuttgart äh, für drei Monate, aber <laughs> mein Deutsch ist wirklich nicht perfekt. So I would say pretty much the same than my brother as my brother. But I was actually uh, three months in Stuttgart in Sw in Germany. And I perfect, uh, perfectioned my my German, but I still is it's still not so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, dann uh, eine andere. Uh, also es, es gibt zwei uh, gleiche Frage. Uh, wir haben schon darüber gedacht uh, gesprochen, aber vielleicht ist es besser es uh, zu wiederholen. Äh, oder wieder zu holen. <lacht> ich weiß nicht. Also, ähm, wieder zu holen. Ähm, äh, Frage ist, welche, also für Julia, sagen wir, welche Dialekt äh, von Schweizerdeutsch spricht ihr? Um, the question, uh, which dialect of, uh, of Swiss German do you speak? Soll ich auf Schweizerdeutsch antworten oder auf Deutsch? Ja, ja. Schweizerdeutsch. Schweizer. Okay. Ja. Äh, also, wir reden so eine Mischung zwischen Zürcher Deutsch und Berner Deutsch. So, we speak like a, a mix between um, a, a Swiss German from Zurich and Swiss German from Bern. Weil äh, meine Großmutter hat mehr in Berner Deutsch gehabt. Because my uh, my grandmother talked to us in um, in Swiss German from Bern. Aber meine Mut Mutter uh, sie redet me in Zürcher Deutsch. But my mother uh, talks uh, more uh, Swiss German from 
from Zurich. Aber äh, wir, haben eigentlich, äh, wir sind eigentlich auch. Also, wir haben in, in Bern geklappt, so wie lange? Drei Jahre, vier Jahre lang, oder? Drei Jahre, drei. drei. Uh, so we uh, we all actually all also lived in Bern like three years, uh, yeah, three years. Aber wir sind in der französische Schule gsi. But we went to a French school in Bern. Ja, und dann mm -hmm. haben wir schon ein bisschen Berner Deutsch äh, gelernt, aber äh, ist mehr mit Lü also es ist mehr gekommen, von mit Leuten zu reden. So we we talked a bit of uh, of Swiss German from Bern, but it was just to communicate there and yes, communicate with people there. Okay, uh, then in English for your ends, what do you study? Do you plan to use languages specifically in your careers? So um, actually now I'm studying electronics at the PFL. And so it doesn't, it hasn't anything to do with, uh, with languages, but I think it's a great opportunity for my career. So I'll be able to communicate with the people with who I work. Also at the EPFL, there are a lot of, of, um, foreigners, I would say. And, um, and foreigners. yeah, and, um, they don't, Everybody do doesn't speak very well French, so it's for me easier to communicate. I have friends with who I communicate in Spanish, others in English, and others in German, others in French, and so on. But isn't English very important for your career? English like, is very important. Maybe isn't you have English. Many... Yeah, so in three years, I think I my courses will only be in English. So. No, it, it, English is important. English is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Julia? So I study medicine in, at the UNIL, uh, and it's the University of Lausanne. And um, uh, I think actually it's very important for me because if I have uh, patients uh, who are, for example, migrants from uh, from america south america uh, i may be able to to communicate with them without uh, needing a translator mm. and i think it's uh, very great and yeah I, I think it's it's good because when you have a translator it's more complicated to really understand Absolutely. so if you speak the language is very so it's easy i think yes absolutely yeah i think it definitely for for julia will be much more important uh for the interaction with patients uh even even if you stay in switzerland for example you can yeah. often have uh, migrants or uh, foreigners that mm, yeah speak yeah. different languages okay time for the last question And this is a cool one. Uh, en français, pour les deux, uh, aimeriez-vous participer à un polyglot gathering? Comme, ah, aimeriez-vous ah, Donc, ah, le prochain, so... prochain festival de polyglotte qui sera so... en Pologne au, mai, ah, okay. au mois de mai 2021. So, would you um, like to participate on the next polyglot gathering in Poland uh, in 2021? Laurence, je te laisse répondre. Ouais, bah, <rire> honnêtement, moi, j'ai eu beaucoup de plaisir là à, à préparer ce, bah, cette euh, interview. Et puis, euh, je trouve ça assez drôle. Bon, J'avais jamais, euh, j'avais jamais fait quelque chose comme ça auparavant. Ok, Julia, translation. Okay. Ouais. Ah, sorry. Uh, <rire> so, I uh, really enjoyed uh, preparing this interview, and I've never done anything like this before but i uh, liked it yeah. um, <laughs> et, uh, honnêtement hon hon honnêtement ça serait cool j'aimerais bien ça serait pas mal honestly uh, honestly i would like it it would be cool i like it yes Mais, uh, okay julia just the last 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. sure. Uh, <laughs> you, have, you have to close to Julia. Just yeah, sure, your sure. answer in uh, in 20 seconds. Yes. Uh, ben, personnellement, moi aussi, j'ai adoré faire ça. C'est aussi la première fois que je fais quelque chose comme ça, et ce serait un grand, avec grand plaisir que je ferais ça l'année prochaine. Personally, oh. I really enjoyed it too. Uh, doing that, I didn't do uh, something like this before, so I I would like to participate next year. It would be great. Excellent. Okay, cool. so I <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Uh, uh, like thank you. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Euh, euh, muchas gracias et <rire> alors euh, on se verra tous ensemble euh, en Pologne euh, l'année prochaine ouais, we, will meet, we will meet next year in, in Poland yeah, yeah sure. excellent <rire> cool bye, so, yeah. à bientôt thank bye. you, bye à bientôt. Tchuss. bonne journée <rire> tchuss. 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 Tchuss.